Hello everybody, Washout here, and welcome to Little Goody Two Shoes, The Secret Lies in the Woods, a game by the wonderfully talented Astral Shift. This is the prequel to Pocket Mirror. I'm going to be starring Elise as we live about our daily life doing chores and dreaming of grander things. Little Goody Two Shoes. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. For goodness sake! Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my full oars, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. <laughs> oh, I'd show them. <laughs> I'd make them scrub my pots and pans, my shoes even. Have them wipe down all my windows, every last one. Clean out my earth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Oh, if only I were rich. All the steak I could ever want. All the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match. And maids. All the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise. Oh, for goodness sake. On your way home, lass. What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wandering about, Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. 
I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise, we've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance, for what? What am I to be afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I'll believe I'll be just fun on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let's hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. No, oh, I can't stand these folks. They're not that bad. Alright. Find your way home. Can do. This thing's so faded I can't even read it. Pine tree this, pine tree that. Everything's about pine trees around here. I'd best not wander about too far. Oh, acquired a grape. For goodness sake! It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Save often. Is this is what the save points look like. What in the Lord's name happened here? I ought to find my matches. It's no use going in the pantry, is it? There's nothing to eat in this house. At least they didn't get into this trunk. Despite its visibly worn appearance, the old trunk keeps its contents safe and secure. Who in the Lord's name got into my house? What's this filthy thing on my wall? Whoever broke into my house is getting a proper earful, that's what. I'm not leaving until I make sense of what happened here.
What was that thing? I... Was I dreaming, Gore? This thing's still not working, is it? I ought to have a word with Mr. Wilhelm sometime soon, I suppose. The clock's hands grate dutifully through time, struggling to turn with each passing second. What was I thinking leaving it here? There's the tinderbox. I had to light the fire now. Reserve your matches. Okay. Let's get that fireplace lit. What is this? Good grief. What is that? What if it was that witch the townsfolk have been going on about? Keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burglar. Uh, that said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. There we go. Lantern. An old rusted lantern covered in grime, its natural dark color now faded into rusted hues. An emerald brooch given to Elise by her grandmother on her deathbed. Rusty tin box meant for carrying matches. Worn out and brittle, the broom's ragged handle is riddled with crevices. We've seen this broom before, haven't we? Hmm. How long has it been since I last used this thing, I wonder? A string of cobwebs and dust cling to the old oven's wooden doors as though sealing them. This isn't the time to be watering the garden, is it? Weathered by time, the well's wooden structure stands frayed and worn. I could go call for help, but... No, not a chance. I'll deal with this mess myself. Kefferberg's rooftops decorate the rolling hills far off in the distance. There you are, you shameless thief. Out with it! Give me back all you took. Uh, right. Hurry it up! Now! <sighs> Wait, please. Please forgive me. Out with it! Explain yourself, you wretch. What were you doing at my house? Wait, please don't hit me. I was just hiding. There were these men and I... Uh... I won't ask you a second time, thief. Hurry it up! Give me back everything you took right now. I didn't take anything. I was just scared. Please, I beg you. Show me your hands. I didn't take anything, ma'am. Huh? Now show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep telling you I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds. 
What are you doing up here in the mountains? Oh, that's... I'm a traveler, ma'am. <clears throat> Turn around. You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm traveling alone. I hope I could rest for tonight in this village, but... I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still a... Oh, but I... Oh, please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Oh, shush it! Would you stop calling me that? I'm sorry. For goodness sake. Hmm. All right, well... I might let you go if you can prove your innocence, that is. I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can, uh... I'm sorry, I... Uh, ma'am? I did it! Yes, that's it! A maid! All right. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. Sorry, I... I... Uh, ma'am? Uh. Complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can do? Uh, yes. Oh, of course, I'll gladly do it, ma'am. <laughs> Good. And in exchange, I suppose you can stay here. But no more thieving. <laughs> I'm not a thief, ma'am. I'll be the judge of that, thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to say. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? Mm, it does sound fair, ma'am. And it is very kind of you, but uh, I'm not a thief. Fine, you're not a thief. Now would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? I'm sorry. You don't, I apologize. My name is Elise, and you'd best remember it. Yes. Ah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Rosen Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. Just Elise is fine. Come now, you have a lot of work to do. Yes, yes of course. R bring Rose and Marie to home. I ought to keep my mouth shut about this whole ordeal. I can't imagine what would happen if those folks got wind of this. Can we feed Rose and Marina grape? No grapes for you. Grapes are for Elise. How could you even do all of this? Look at my floors! I'm sorry. Even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break all my windows and tear down the walls. Mm, all right, well. You know what you did. Anyhow, here, take this. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny you hear. Mm, yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows. All right. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow. Understood. 
And I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. Come now, let me show you the well out back. Oh, but I... Oh, I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, Lassie, I have no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once and I'll be having a word with the townsfolk. Are we clear? Yes, Elise. I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have Sunday Mass to attend tomorrow. I'll keep quiet. G good night, Elise. It's best I leave her be. I just gave her quite the earfall. Is something a matter, Elise? No, it's nothing. We share the same fate, lass. What are you? You'll understand in time, I'm certain. If you do follow this path, that is. Are you a ghost? You have a wish, don't you? A wish? Your deepest, dearest wish. If you truly want it, then you'll have to accept his blessing. Take his hand. Huh? We will be waiting you, lass. We, what are you? Until we meet again. Acquired Old Kerchief. A stained, grimy kerchief, hemmed with coarse frayed lace. It may sell for a low price. Wow. Now you've done it, Elise. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous? Or worse, even? What if she's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about? Oh, what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to yit tell on her, too. Hmm, what's done is done. I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. It's morning already. I can't be late for Sunday Mass or Father Hans Willa. You can't be serious! Oh, good grief. What was I thinking? She's probably taking everything I own by now. You lose bread for each time that passes. That's six bread a day. We are a hungry girl. Soft supple loaf of bread taken from Lebkajin's bakery. Each glistening grape clings to its stem, coming together in a heavy, plump bunch. Eat the bread. 
All right. I can only hope she hasn't taken anything. Look at that, 10 endings. Wonder if that's gonna be correlated to our relationship status. Ah, uh, we're rug on the wall, people. Did it always look like this? What are we looking at here? Is that a unicorn? Rosenmarine, did you touch my rug? Oh. Or maybe not. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but, uh... Hey. Rosemarine! Mm, was that her name? I can't believe she tidied up and just left like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night, the poor thing. Uh... Now where could she have gotten to? Rosemary, where did you go? She's probably hiding in a garbage can somewhere. Whoa! I had to keep my mouth shut about this whole ordeal. Right. Rose Marine. For goodness sake. There you are, you. <sighs> Honestly, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind, come with me now. I'm sorry, I... Are you taking me to the village? <laughs> Who do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment, Naya. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. I'm sorry for what I did too. For goodness sake. I got it. All that's dead and buried. Now, come. I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Yes. Ah, wait for me, Elise. Bring Rose and Marine home. Flock. Flock. Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. Where have you been? You know this goat? Uh, of course. Yes, of course. We met on the way to Kefirberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were, we were. Oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, Flock. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to do. 
I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. It kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd, uh... Oh, shush it! I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. You really are too kind. For goodness sake. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. Most folks would have tossed me out right the moment they found me, but you didn't. Hmm, mm, I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. All right. Don't wander about and don't make a mess. Uh, of course. I won't, Elise. Pursue your love interests. Ah, before you go, Elise. Eh, I have something to tell you if, uh, you could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Ah, well, it's important, so. I'll be in the back by nightfall, all right. For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear. Ah, uh, I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. I'm not so certain it's a good idea to leave like this, but... Is everything alright, Elise? You be good while I'm gone, you hear? Ah, of course. Hmm. She's gonna be fine. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Okay, try out the map. There we go. Look at that. Whoa! Elisa's backyard! Left to her by Granny Holly after her passing. Narrow passage surrounded by a grapevine. A creep that flows down the... between... Okay. Kefferberg's old windmill oversees the lands beyond. Okay, that's where we're going. Whoa, water well. Town's water well, complete with a washing well and breathtaking view. Everything's breathtaking in this game. Alright. Let's be on our way. Check for objectives, romantic dates, and tasks. Why can't I just date all of them? Is there any particular reason? Don't make me choose. There you are, Elise. Come here, why don't you? Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back. I have some fresh buns, they'll chill you right up. Why don't you take a look? Look at that. What can I do for you today, dearie? I'm buying. I'm selling. See you, Granny. I'm buying. Whoa. A soft supple loaf of bread from Lebekjin's Bakery. Did you steal these, Granny? 
A neatly braided soft pretzel, Elisa's favorite item from... Okay. Hmm. Can't quite afford a pretzel. I don't think... I think I'm good for now. No. Ah, see, she knows me. Some pretzels, maybe? I'm, uh... Oh, wait. They switch position? See ya, Granny. I'll take that. Why can't I pet the cats? Oh, what's over there? Levichin's got a little something for you, dearie. Thank you, Granny Gretel. You didn't have to. Oh, but I most certainly do. Ought to get some meat on those bones, oughtn't we? Uh, you're not coming to Mass today, either? My poor legs can no longer carry me, my dear. Lepikjin takes care of you, I suppose. You bet. Hurry now. You don't want to be late. I remember when Granny Gretel used to come visit every day. I should be careful not to let her spoil me too much. True. Play on the swing? Oh my god. This silly old thing. To think Lebukjin and I used to spend entire afternoons taking turns on this swing. Secured by slightly frayed rope and covered with pine needles, the swing's wooden plank swing sways gently in the breeze. It's been ages since I've been here, huh? Closed off from the main path, the old home's walls show their vulnerability to the woodland's overgrowth. Who lived here? We'll put Rose and Marine here. Nope, no sneaking. These are for her goats, I'd wager. Resting atop one another, many blemish, discolored, and wrinkled apples await their turn in the stable. Poor apples. Alright. Might be best to seal our windows and doors, old Wilhelm, just in case. Ah, oh, there she is, alive and kicking. Made it home all right last evening, I see. I did indeed, Mr. Bernard. More importantly, what happened here? That dreaded windstorm, that's what happened. I suppose you didn't have it as bad up in the mountains. I certainly didn't by the looks of it. Oh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Branches and leaves piled up high against folks' doors, entire treetops, some of them. Surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors. Old Oaken says it might have been the witch herself, but... Oh, there we go again. You could never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading inside now, folks. Let's hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wilhelm. Knocking on folks' doors, huh? A proper witch would have better things to do, I'd say. Everything all right, Mrs. Linda? Oh, Elise. 
Would you take a look at my poor flowers? The windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their pots. Was it really that big of a storm? It was only a little windy up at the peaks. Why, you've seen all these branches scattered about town. My Erd Brunhild's roof nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening. I suppose. We ought to give our thanks to St. Walpurcha today, Elise. Pray our morning away yet again, I understand. Don't be silly now. It could have been much worse had it not been for her. Make certain you asked for her protection, too. Protection, Mrs. Slinda. Living all alone up in that mountain can't be good for you, Elise. I'll be praying for your sake, too. Rest assured. Thank you, Mrs. Linda. <laughs> Fast forward. Look at that. What a fancy... Did you just turn around in place? Okay, can we go inside your place? No. What a mess! I won't be going through here anytime soon, I suppose. Was a crazy windstorm, wasn't it? Lepkachin and I used to play about in the water all the time. Didn't we? Though we're a little too old for that now, I suppose. For oh, forever more decorated with blooming flowers, Kefferberg's request rests atop the square fountain in its ancient glory. Look at the people just stand and look at the sticks instead of doing something. Good seeing you, Elise. Oh, it must have been even worse up in the mountains. It wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Oh, that's such a relief. I'm afraid we weren't as lucky, sadly. Oh, I do hope nobody was hurt. We can thank both the Lord and Saint Walpurgit nobody was, but... Many of the townsfolk got their windows shattered and their roof tiles blown off. What about you, Mr. Heinrich? Oh, it was awful. Our window shutters were ripped right off their hinges. It'll take all day to fix and tidy everything. That's all right, dearest. The sooner we get it... Oh, get to it, the sooner it'll be done. I can lend a hand if you'd like me to, Mrs. Ariane. Ariane? Ariane? I have no idea. Oh, that's all right, Elise. Come now, you two. We'd best get inside. I suppose folks had it rough last night, huh? This isn't the time to wander about, I'd best hurry. What secrets are down here? Nothing. There's nothing down here. You can't just put these animals here and not let me pet them. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. Good morning to you too, Mrs. Bertha. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise. Why wouldn't I, Mrs. <laughs> Audily? Audily? My Elise, you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Not at all, it seems you folks had worse than I did. My, that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. And so, oddly. Oh, I've had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, oddly, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, Marielle. 
All I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness, what was Kefberg come to? After you, Elise. The woodland, huh? Good morning, Elise. How are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, me neither. All because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. Sniffing it always helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Uh... Shush, keep quiet, you two. I'm oh. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. <laughs> We'd best focus now, Elise. Shush it, you. You're the one wittering on, Freya. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Walpurgia take heed of our prayers. Amen. This Saturday, we will once again be celebrating our patroness, Saint Walpurgia. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am unaware. Oh, I am aware of what transpired last night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust St. Walpurgia to guide our people and keep Keferberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. Took you all you had to get out of the bed this morning, I'd wager. It, you. Very funny, Lebkachin. Jokes aside, Elise, don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? You're riling me up on purpose again, Leb. Can you tell? For goodness sake. <laughs> I'd best get to work now, before it gets late. See you later, Elise. Don't forget to come about later, Elise. <sighs> I won't, I won't. Relationship menu? I'll be having one of everything. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink, explains the hilarity. You're a hopeless, Lebkachin. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Oh my god, a pretzel. Oh, you brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Mrs. Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernard was fretting over you, is all. Mr. Bernard can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb.
Keeping Lebkuchen company, huh? Can't say I'm not looking forward to it. We best send word to Primal Dwarf before, uh... Ah, Elise didn't see you there. Send word to Primal Dwarf, Mr. Gustav? We're having folks from Primal Dwarf lend a hand with the festival this year, Elise. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountains, lass. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. She was. You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. Certainly, Father. Hard at work even on Sunday, are you? When are and I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav, thank you. Having Primal Dwarf lend a hand can only mean Kefberg isn't doing so well. Not much of a surprise there, truth be told. I remember sneaking into Father Han's study with Leb when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them anyhow. As much as I dislike Sunday Mass, I have to admit I feel at peace here. Too bad the old geezer's always about. Bathed in sunshine, each stained glass panel casts a warm glow over the church's gaelic marble. I've never seen water coming out of here. I wonder if they've ever been used for anything. Polish completely smooth the pearly stone base and sits untouched. Wash your babies there. There's something written on here. Hallowed Walpurgia, sanctified be thy name. May thy will be everlasting in thy grace, all-embracing. Quenched thou shall be on the Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life-bearing grove. At prayer, there's something else at the bottom. Kefberg's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. In the crossroads? I wonder who dropped this. Satan. Satan dropped this. A prayer directed at St. Walpurgia herself. I stopped lighting candles ever since Granny Holly passed. Not that they ever did anything, anyhow. Kept burning in this wake of a prayer, each candle's flame flickers in serene devotion. Oh my god. This place always brings back such good memories. The fragrant mountain breeze frolics about the rolling hills, spreading its spring cheer all across Kefberger. Kefberger! Yes, that's what that was. For goodness sake! Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. To think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Ah, Elise, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. Hey, me ointment! You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I put a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? 
Ah, uh, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise, I was wondering. I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might care to join me if you'd like. All right, I'll be there for ya. We are so busy. Ah, that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. What's gotten into her? Oh my god, so we have to choose between hanging out with Freya and hanging out with... Leb? Did I get that right? What a difficult decision. Hmm. We can't all leave Kefirberg over this nonsense. Leaving? Who's leaving? Oh, at least it's that witch folks keep wittering on about. That windstorm couldn't have been a mere coincidence, old Oakens. Calm down, Brunhilde. Think of your baby. Now, I'm not one to believe such things, but... I thought you weren't buying into this nonsense, Mrs. Bertha. Why, who are you to say it's nonsense, Elise? Oh. But it is, oh my, we are making decisions. Hmm. But it is nonsense, Miss Bertha. Do you really think there's a witch out there? No, we wouldn't know, Elise. You seem to be a little too certain about it, young lady. Because it's utterly ridiculous. We ought to be careful when discussing such things. Truly, Dorothy, you never know who could be listening. What are you? Oh, please don't say such things, Mrs. Bertha. Come now, let's change the subject, shall we? Suspicion up. I can't believe that old hag. She'll be spreading that nonsense about town all day. So we have... Oh my, we have... <laughs> I think it's funny how they sometimes spin. So we have to watch our reputation with the townspeople, too? There are a lot of data points here to keep track of. Who are you? Can I date you, too? Can't be bothered to lend a hand in the alleys, Elise. I'm going there now. Folks can look after their own homes, I'd say. Sparing yourself on a Sunday, I see. As a matter of fact, I happen to work every Sunday, Mrs. Lorley. All right, all right, whatever you say, Lassie. Say, have you seen my niece by chance? Molly? I'll take it you haven't then. No, I don't think I have, Mrs. Lorley. She's been up to no good lately, you see. Running about begging for food, skipping class, who knows what else. I see. Nothing a good whipping can't fix anyhow. I wouldn't be so certain. No wonder Miffy avoids her Annie like a plague. You've seen what it did to the alleys, Mar... Mariel. Oh, Audley. What are we to do with you? Is everything all right, Mrs. Marley? Audley here is making too much of that windstorm is all. You'll see, Mariel. Okay, what, what, what is that for real? Marielle? See, what, Mrs. Audley? Old Oaken's right, lass. That windstorm came from the woodland. It's that wretched witch. For goodness sake. You'd best keep such thoughts to yourself, Audley. The townsfolk are already frightened. You wouldn't want to make it worse. Why, I'm simply trying to alert folks to the, uh... You gotta watch your words, dearie. Hmm, that's what happens when you try Mrs. Audley's patience. Or Miss Marielle's patience, I suppose. <laughs> Mrs. Audley's losing her wits, that's what. If she keeps spreading this nonsense about town. Oh, they're not done yet. 
Maybe this way? No. So which way are we headed? Oh, I see. Wait, no, Freya went over this way somewhere, didn't she? Where'd she go? Huh, maybe she climbed over it. Time for work. All tasks are marked with the broom icon. Each time you skip, okay, skip one time period. I would help you, but I wanna see what's up with. Is she over here? No, she's not here yet. I think that's what she was saying is the tower, right? Maybe we have to work for a bit. Oh, you know what it is? It's not afternoon yet. That's what it is. Ah, I'm so glad you dropped by, Elise. Won't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full tidying up after that windstorm, you see. I can lend you a hand with that, Mrs. Arian. I was hoping you could fetch some eggs from the coop. Of course. Leave it to me. Careful with the hens now, you hear? I dare say they're still riled up after last night. Out of my way, you feathered rat! Chicken frenzy? Chicken frenzy? What? What? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, I see now. What fertile ladies! Oh, it costs money to try again. No. You win. Oh, I could have done with a few more, but these will do. What do you mean I got an A? How many eggs do you need? They're Heinrich's favorite, at least. He can never have enough. Here you go, for all your hard work. Thank you, Mrs. Ariane. Better have some pretzels. Let's try a save. I didn't see another chore that I could do though yet. So now what time is it? Afternoon? So are these cleared up? No. So where did Freya go? Oh, Elise. Ah, Elise, perfect timing. What's the matter, Mariel? Old Odd Elise losing her wits, you say. She's rather superstitious after all. I suppose it could be bad considering your age. Truly. 
She's been coming in and out of the alleys, too. I suppose she's fretting over the damage, but... Are you done with the cleanup, Mrs. Arian? Oh, it's taking a while, but it's coming along. Audley won't last a week carrying on like this. Without our support, I'm afraid she'll... Uh... She'll be fine. Mrs. Mariel's making too much of it, I'm certain. It's not like Mrs. Audley is going to die from fright. Well, I'm gonna guess she dies of fright now. Oh, it's wonderful seeing the la <laughs> laddies making merry, isn't it? It reminds me of the time with Gretel and her grandmother, Elise. You three used to be very close. I remember. Oh, we got up to some mischief, that's for certain. That's hard to imagine, if I'm honest. Seeing those laddies run about gives me hope, Elise. You, Freya, Lebkachin, too. All good girls. I can't say I won't leave town eventually, Mrs. Machtilde. Kefberger's our home, Elise. I would say that alone is worth your our while. And I suppose. Might have want to disappoint her, but... Kefberg will never be worth my while or anyone else's for that matter. Alright. Well, I have no idea where Freya is, so I guess I'll save real quick and I'll go hang out with... What's her face? Leb. Unless she was this way. I guess I'll I'll take a look around, see if I can find her. Hmm. Well, that's a task. Can't do that yet. That looks like a quest. Look at all of this. Oh my god. What does that mean? Oh, Elise. You don't look so good, Mrs. Dorothy. Have you seen Miffy by any chance? Maya ought to make sure she's doing her daily readings. She's awfully behind. No, I haven't. Have you tried asking Mrs. Lorley? Yes, I was told she went to the well for water, but she's not there. Oh, Elise, I can only pray she's all right. She does wander off quite often, doesn't she? Won't you please tell her if you see her? Oh my gosh. See, they're blocking us from those alleyways. Alright, I want to go talk to my girlfriend. There you are. There she is. I've got... You do not have better things to do. All right, Leb first. I'll spend some time with her. Rather cute, aren't you? My, there was no need to run, Elise. Hush it, you. Who's running you? <laughs> you always like this, Lebkajen. I can't help it. You're so easy to tease, Elise. For goodness sake. It's such a nice day today. I could stay here until nightfall. In the mood for another earful from Father Hans, are you? Remember when we would sneak up here at nighttime? To look at the stars and snack on leftover pretzels? As if I'd forget that. Huh. Or that night that geezer caught us. You'll never let that one go, will you, Elise? That wretch had me on my knees praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earfall. I recall praying right alongside you that night, don't you? Because you felt sorry for me, not because he told you to. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? What's there to see? You're the one who's putting up with him for so long, the way I see it. It's not as though we are never at odds with each other. Oh, spare me. Over what? You think I'm short of complaints. Indulge me, why don't you? <laughs> Bald geezers like you belong in the pig pen, you oinker. L Lebkachin. <laughs> He'll never hear us from up here, Elise. All right, but you're the one getting the lecture if he catches us. At the top of your lungs now. 
You're so ugly, not even Saint Walpurgia can save you, you ogre! <laughs> Dare tell me my hair is too long again and I'll chop off what's left of yours, you old weasel. Did he really tell you that? For a clergywoman, that is. Who cares about some made-up rules, Lab? Aren't you feeling a lot lighter after that, Elise? I could see you needed it, that's for sure. I'm no saint, after all, despite my veil. It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often, Lab. I've decided that this one's going to be my girlfriend. It suits you much better than the dust cloth on your head. My, you're such a charmer, Elise. All it does is weigh you down, it makes you look gloomy, too. How do I look without it, then? You're such a killjoy, Lebkachin. Anyhow, Elise, it's best we move along, wouldn't you say? Those eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I already did. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later, don't forget. Of course, Lamb. I'll be there. Heart piece acquired. You'll get a lovely heart after every successful date. Check your progress in the relationships. Where is this? I need to see this relationships menu. Oh my god. Oh, one's okay. One suspicion. Huh. Oh. Anything new here? Hmm. This must be Lebkachin's Bible, let's see. No, I can't do it. It's so tedious I can't get past the first sentence. A copy of the Holy Scripture rests upon the altar beneath a thin layer of dust. No wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. Father Han's holy scripture rests upon the altar, each page scrawled with annotations. Saint Walpurga, huh? Basking in its holy glory, the image of Saint Walpurga. Or is it Walpurga? I have no idea. Somebody watches over Kefferberg Church. I need to have a word with you, Elise. It has come to my attention, you went home rather late yesterday. Oh, for goodness sake. That's our catchphrase, huh? Bernard and Ludwig are quite concerned about you. My apologies, Father, but it uh, wasn't just my own fault. Whose fault was it then, would you say? Uh, Mrs. Elma's, obviously. Eh, I'll just go, I understand. It's wander under the bridge, Father. I would like to let it go. Although that's rather reasonable, Elise. Kefferberg has no need for conflict. The town is tense enough as it is. I understand, Father. We must all make allowances for each other. If you say so, Father. Elise. I said I understand. Now if you excuse me.
I thought you'd be holed up in the church all day, Lab. I'm still waiting for Mrs. Audley. She asked me to pray the rosary with her outside. Says she needs blessings after lending a hand in the alleys. Lending a hand? What's she doing out there? Wittering on about the witch? So I'm told, yes. You put up with too much of this nonsense, Lem. You know my answer to that, Elise. It's my duty to play make-believe with Miss Audley all day. You wouldn't understand. Elise, you'll have me fretting over you at this rate, you know. Aren't you already? No more than you fret over me, unnecessarily, I'll add. Speaking of Mrs. Audley, she's rather late. I can keep you company until she comes about, Lab. My good deed for today. I have a better idea for your good deed for the day, Elise. Eh, moving along to work and stop wasting time. Go on now. I'll be seeing you later. Lepkachin's too devoted to these folks. Your youth won't last working on a Sunday, my dear. Mine didn't, that's for certain. It shows, I'd say. Would you believe we're still not done with the alleys? My, that certainly is taking a long time. I'm surprised you haven't lent a hand today, Elise. It's a Sunday, Mrs. Bertha. We all, all have time on our hands. Ah, is that so? Why don't you come and tidy up my kitchen, then? I could certainly use the time. Come now. Let's... It's not as though the lass hasn't been working all day. Doing what? Collecting eggs? Doing whatever it is the folks need, Mrs. Bertha, as always. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? I think I'd rather throw myself off a cliff. Okay. Understandable. Hmm. Oh, the chore is gone. Interesting. Still running around town, I see. As I do, Mr. Goodstaff. Ways be down seeing you that hard at work on a Sunday. Okay, we get it. It's Sunday, but there's stuff to do. A windstorm just came through. Why don't you come for dinner one of these days? Well, oh, I wouldn't want to impose. Freya would be jumping for joy, you know that. I'm grateful for the invitation, truly, but I have... Uh... Some soup. Some soup spoiling sometime tomorrow, you see. Freya talks about you day and night, and I can see your close friends. Oh, that's a... Uh... Whatever the reason, Elise, you're always welcome in our home, you hear. Thank you so much, Mr. Gustav. It's only a matter of time until Freya brings you around, you'll see. My Elise, you don't need to tell me you're still working. I don't have much of a choice, Mrs. Brunhilde. Why, that can't be good for you. You're too yielding, Brunhilde. Oh, I can't help it with a baby on the way. Those are some enviable worries. Enviable, Mrs. Ariane? Oh, it's nothing worth mentioning. Moving back to Primal Dwarf may very well be our only option, sadly. It's only a matter of time, Brunhilde. Kefferberg no longer has much to offer. I left Primaldorf behind for my husband, but... You won't be staying for long either, will you, Elise? Elise is too self-driven for Kefferberg. Always has been. Eh, I suppose. They get me. Too self-driven, huh? It's not as though that's enough to leave town, though, is it? Isn't this place, like, perfect, though? Elma's home is rather folksy, isn't it? This red wall of hers is such a nuisance, though. Elma lives here, huh? Hmm. So that's gonna pass time. I'll check out over here first. Oh, it was absolutely horrifying. What happened, Mrs. Wilma? Those dreadful branches inside my shed. I heard nothing of the branches reaching the inn. They didn't last. It's a mystery as to... Someone or something left a... 
Oh, I wouldn't even know what to call it. Uh, you're fretting too much, Mrs. Wilma. Someone just played a prank on you, I'm certain. Why would someone do such a thing? I should say that's the most rational outlook, but, uh... Truly, we wouldn't want to make too much of it. No, oh, you lot wouldn't make this... Oh, wouldn't take any of this seriously. There was a bucket of water outside my front door, too. Ah, I see. It may be best if you took a nap, Wilma. Okay, I get it. So it's actually... Maybe it's not even suspicion, although that's... I guess that's technically the right word. We're... Um, reducing fear or panic? Oh, it's you, Elise. Was it? Wow. Oh. Wow, we better come back here. Grape juice, what? Sweet grape juice bottled onto a glass container said to soothe one's troubled mind. Hmm. Interesting. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? Goodbye, MILF. Is this blocked as well? What a mess. Okay. Maybe this way? Secrets. Oh my, I am sneaking around. Wilma's shack. I wonder what she keeps in here. Or was I supposed to talk to that from the front? Yeah. It's filled with dirt. That Wilma tried to make a planter, but it fell flat, huh? What are you doing, Apple? Shush, look! Wilma's losing her wits. Losing her wits? It worked. We did it, Elise. What worked, Apple? Jacob and I hid a bunch of those branches in her shed. That's your prank? Why don't you come up with a better idea then? I'm not the one who wanted to prank Wilma to begin with. You were just as giddy about it as we were, you liar. Was not. We're two. I'll tell Mrs. Wilma you pranked her. I'll tell Wilma you pranked her if you do. Why, you? We could come up with a better idea by Saturday, I'm certain. Ah, pranking people. The best. I wonder if those branches are ever going to get cleaned up. Hmm. Excuse me, ladies. All right, let's pass some time. Content unavailable. Please purchase the full game to unlock. Okay. I can't yet, though. Whoa. I can't buy it yet. It's not available. I would. Looking after the flowers, are you? Ah, Elise, Mama asked me to look after the earth for a bit. Instead, you're out here playing with Lila, huh? It's so boring, I'll give it a glance at it once in a while. I wonder what Mrs. Linda would have to say about that, Jacob. Oh, but you wouldn't tell her, would you? Not if you promise to keep a proper eye on it, I won't. My promise, Elise. You've been spending too much time with Apple, you know. We came up with another idea to prank Wilma. Apple's over there planning it right now. I know. I might pay him a little visit then. Oh, there you are. 
Ah, Elise. I thought you'd be in town. Oh, I just stopped to pay Mrs. Gretel a visit. She's been wanting to teach me this recipe, but I can't seem to find the time. Recipe for what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Elise. You see, Papa's a big fan of her honey milk bread, but... Mr. Gustav? He's got the biggest sweet tooth, you know. Now that's a little unexpected. I've been meaning to learn the recipe is all. Why not get it from Mrs. Gretel's, uh... Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but, uh... Papa, well, he's always said that, uh... You don't have to tell me, Freya. He says he likes my cooking better because it's, um... Made with love. Oh, I know, Elise. He's so embarrassing. Mr. Goose... Mr. Gustav and Freya really are close, huh? Can't say it's not understandable, though. Hmm. Knock, knock. Wait, what? Look at that dark corner back there. Made me scared for a second. Look at all the animals. What a mess. Oh. You? Oh, you're such a blessing, Elise. What a way to tell me you need a hand, Mrs. Marlin. Ah, but I truly do mean it, Blast. Today has been such a mess. Won't you be a dear and fetch me some apples? Of course, Mrs. Marlin. I'm busy. I'll be a dear and fetch you some apples, I suppose. Oh, there's no need to sulk, Elise. How many apples do these folks need, anyhow? Why is there an anvil in the tree? Oh, hell yeah! S for Apple. My, you didn't have to bring me the entire orchard. I merely did what I was told, Mrs. Marlin. Here you go, Elise. Very well done. Oh my, hell yeah, so we got 60, I think it was. Thank you, Mrs. Marlin. Why, I don't know what to do with all of these. Oh, I'm finally done with work for today. I'd best head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see Lebkachen. 
Have dinner with Moat Rose and Marine. Um, looks like we have some choices. Saving. Looking to get another lecture from Bernard, at least? You lands ought to spare the earful, Einrich. Finally, a voice of reason. Don't look me in with Lugwood and Bernard at Eugen. Elise is more than capable of looking after herself the way I see it. I most certainly am, Mr. Heinrich. These old folks, however, you better keep an eye on them. Do you mean, uh, Mrs. Audley and Old Oaken? They've been spreading utter nonsense, I've heard. Old Oaken's going to become a problem sooner rather than later, I'd wager. Why do you say that, Mr. Yugen? You'll see, lass. I wouldn't want to be talking behind the old lad's back, but I suspect his windstorm nonsense will take its toll on us. Seems to me we're hearing about this woodland nonsense all week. How do we know it's nonsense, Elise? Maybe there really is a witch. Oh, right. My Elise, why are you still wandering about town? Is everything all right, Mrs. Audley? It clearly isn't, is it? What if the windstorm picks up again this evening? There's only so much an old woman can do against... Uh, the wind? Against the woodland, Elise. I hardly see a reason for all this fretting, uh, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm well aware you're trying to say, lass. This windstorm is no odd occurrence, I'll have you know. No, this is getting on my nerves. You don't mean to say it was the, uh... Oh, please, don't mention it. For goodness sake. I didn't even say the word and she's already losing her wits, huh? What do we got going on over here? Nothing. Oh, right. Well, I guess I'm just about to go eat at the bakery. Hmm, I guess I better make sure. Oh, I can't find it. What can't you find, Groon? Oh, I hadn't seen you there, my dear. The bear Mrs. Marielle gave me. That's what you get for being such a klutz. Apple. Mrs. Marielle said she made it for me. It even has a ribbon on it. Maybe best to head inside for now, my darling. It's no use looking for it in the dark, that's for certain. You're a klutz, you're a klutz. That's not funny, Apple. You have your hands full, don't you, Mrs. Lisbeth? Like you wouldn't know. I don't know how she does it. They got wine in this era? Talk to the this one? No. We're looking for a bear, maybe? Mrs. Lisbeth's apple trees seem to be doing well this year, huh? Filled to the brain with apples, the barrel stands unyielding despite the visible gaps between its planks. You must be desperate. Do I look desperate to you? 
Oh, all of us were, Lassie. All of you. Why, well, you'll all know all about us in time, don't you worry. I've seen so many like you come and go throughout the years. Many like me, you say. All those years ago, had I not met him in the woods, I would be an elderly woman by now. Yet, all I am is, uh... Finish your story for goodness sake. There you are, Lebkachin. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's why. Fretting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know, they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it now, too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? Elise. It's all nonsense, Lab. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Two bread? Wow. Do you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Lepikachin's always had a talent to figure things out, but... Is this her intuition again, Nur? Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I'll see you tomorrow, Leb. Lebkogen's second sight, it makes me wonder at times. One for me, and also another one for me because I'm not feeding Rosenmarine anything. I feel like that's probably pretty accurate. Wonder if the whatever changes. Um, got anything different? No. You have five pretzels. See you, Granny. I'm selling? What? I'm not selling anything. What are you bartering at a bakery for? Hmm. Ways to shift around your resources, I suppose. Alright, let's see if we can talk to that thing behind the crossroads. Saving. I'd best not wander about too far. Is it back here? There it is. Oh. What is this? Was this opening here before, I wonder? This place is so stuffy. What the? We better hurry, it's ble depleting our sanity. We'll read these in a moment. This looks like an awful lot like an old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our beloved patron is Saint Walpurgia. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for Saint P Walpurgia's sake, but for old Holly's as well. Huh? Granny Holly? On her deathbed, old Holly confessed to all her sins. Among her most mon mundane missteps, she told me of Elise, of her many prayers to cure her of her childlessness. Yet what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted, that the woodland itself granted her wish for a child. As she put it herself, he granted her wish for a heavy price. 
How can this be? What did old Holly truly mean to say? If this truly did happen and Elise was conceived by St. Walpurge's divine intervention. Yeah, but if not for St. Walpurge's blessing, then who is he? Old Holly didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What's going on here? I'd best hold on to this piece of paper. This is, uh, another prayer. Hallowed while purchase, sanctified be thy name. I beg thou for a sign, a testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Kefberg welcomes thy blessings, thy guidance. Someone must be leaving these around. But who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith at the peaks. Find proof of our faith up at the peaks. Buried within the windmill that once was. This is, uh, that old windmill up the mountains. What the hell is that thing? A door. It's locked, too. What is this place? A man-sized sigil appears chiseled into the door's gritty surface surrounded by uneven scattered crevices. I don't think I see anything else. What was that thing? I was I dreaming or... I think I might need something to clear my mind. I think the lady sold something. Unless I have an item for it already. This one? Oh, it must be this one. I'll have one of your grape juices. I might as well buy one of these. How much did that recover? Let's get another one.
Oh, she only has a couple of them. I think I saw something drop in that cave. The reason I didn't go right back into it was I didn't think I had enough sanity. Let's save. I can already tell that people are going to be punished horribly in this game by not properly saving. A lot of times people are like, why do you save so much? Aside from being an ending collector for RPG Maker stuff, it's important to do regardless. You never know when you could encounter some lockouts and so on. All right, let's see. All right, get me back in there. Wonder if there's something up there in that windmill. I don't know what about that was that thing was, but what I saw in there was a ritual of sorts. There's no doubt about it. Can I go back in? Hmm. Yeah. Well. Where is the windmill? Good thing I have a map. Just remembered it now. There we go. Yeah, definitely an old windmill. Goodness knows what I would give to live in a castle just like that one. Yet here I am, a simple maid of all work. Shining in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. Maybe that's not tr oh. The windmill that once was. This is it, surely, but I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Ah, Elise, welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Would you like me to start making dinner for us to from tomorrow, Elise? That's not a bad idea in itself, but, uh... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose I can't do much harm. All right. On the note, Rosemarine, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, I... oh I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. I've had my fill of running about looking for you day and night. Oh, Elise, I wouldn't want to be a bother. You're going to sleep in my bed. And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear. I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and, uh... D did you hear that, Rosemarine? Hear what? 
I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. Mmm. It's you. Please spare me, Elise. What are you, in Lord's name, are you doing here, Miffy? I was out on a stroll. I swear, I swear on my auntie's name. Ah, and you just so happen to hide behind my house. I see. Uh, who doesn't? You sneak out folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. It's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? Night, best day. Out with it. My sar, that girl you're housing, Elise. You saw nothing, Molly. She's not from around here, even I can tell. You were having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, mubby or I'll... Why don't you share some of that bread you've got, Elise? I might keep quiet if if you do. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. All right. If I hear as much as one word about this, Molly. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Golly, Elise, why don't you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? Mouth shut or I'll throw you in the well. And don't come back, or else. For goodness sake. This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I... Is she gone? Mm. This could be bad, Rose Marine. I'm sorry. Oh, Elise, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? Mm. If she does, we could be, uh... In trouble, I know, Rose Marine. I'm sorry, I... It's Rosen Marine. Shush it, you. Oh, shush! I'm heading back inside. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay, so is that a trick? Trying to trick me? Miffy's spying on you. Fulfill her daily request for food items to keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Muffy! Damn it! Go to bed. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, I forgot you existed. There you are, Flock. Ought to be nice being a goat, huh? No one's caring the world, oblivious to everything. Ah, oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? Elise, I'm heading off to bed, Rose Marine. I could spend the night in the granary if you'd like. No, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Ah, all right.
Granny Holly used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly understood why exactly. Where's the attic? You left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. Uh, of course. <laughs> I left the door ajar so he can come and go about if he wants. What makes you think he'll stay put? <laughs> Why, the bed I made him, of course. You ought to see it, Elise. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed. Rosemary. Up you go. You need to make your bed, too. Mm. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Why not? For goodness sake. You're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket. For goodness sake. I don't see what's so funny. Please. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. Shush it, you. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches, too. And a candle. Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemary. Good night, Elise. Where was the attic? I have no idea. Somewhere. What am I getting myself into? First I agreed to house Rose Marine. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I best make sense of this all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. Uh, where am I? What is, is this? Is this a dream? <gasps> Hello. Explore the room. I'm gonna eat a piece of bread. It's locked, it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside, too. Now that's a bed. Oh, what I would give to sleep here every night. A spacious bed stands in the corner, its silky sheets protected by a counterpane embroidered in gold thread. A spacious bed stands in the corner, its silky sheets. It's so bright, but there's no flame. An intricately designed golden lamp stands by the bedroom door. It's bulb shining bright. This is marble, I suppose. Top with a shiny slab of marble, the round table stands immaculate. I feel like I am in a princess's bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. Be careful, there are all sorts of dangers lurking in the shadows. Use healing items. That thing came out of the mirror and just slapped me in the face. Oh, there we go. Silver key. About using items. The items you use in your inventory have different about. Okay, thank you. Gotcha. What's this? Rebirth. That's what I wished for. Long, long ago. You wanted to be reborn? 
Some were safe, some were far, far away. I went through all of their trials, gathered all of his gifts. And, indeed, I was reborn. My wish was granted, yet... Yet? To think I would end up like this. Wait. What was that? Oh, thanks for the grapes. Seems like those are going to be really important. Where is it? Let's see. Oh, goodness. So many dresses. Another key. I wonder what it's for. Oh, golden key. What else they got in there? Leave the room. What? Why would I leave? I'm not satisfied yet. It's so bright, I can hardly see. A blindingly warm light pierces the window's glass panes, cradling the room in a welcoming glow. What am I seeing on the floor? Ah, uh, wait a minute, I recognize that eye. So already, huh? I'm locked in here, I suppose. Can't say I mind it much if I'm honest. Oh. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm inside a palace. Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a serpent wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate reads... Aziel? Aziel? Of a crow wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate reads... M... I can't read that. Miram? Blinding crimson glow pierces the window's glass panes. <laughs> now I have a bad feeling about this. What in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? Oh, it puts out your lantern. Four keyholes. That means... There are four keys, I'd wager. Bandages. I should have bought more matches. Phantasm key? It, it's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. So 
I really gotta be careful of these candles here. I think your lantern stays on until it's put out by something. It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but I... Leave it for now. That's... me? I guess we have to try to open it, don't we? Maybe it depends on which way we're facing. What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold, bathed glory. that candle. There it is. Oh, they can miss! Oh, that changes everything! Oh, bandages. Maybe I should use one of those. I think it's probably a good idea. got here. Sneak around that. It's no wonder they've wilted being left in such an awful room. Bunch of purple flowers sag lazily over their vase. Okay. Almost done. Halfway there. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here. Yep. These are all in different language. I can't make sense of any of these titles. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, it got me. There's something on the back of this shelf. I have to reach in my arm to get it, but go for it. This is, uh... Oh. Wait, do I have all I need now? No, I need one more. Such a big self, uh, if only. Upholstered in luxurious blue velvet, the broad sofa rests surrounded by similarly luxurious furniture. It's jammed. I don't think there were consequences for ever opening these. Wondering what that thing on the right is over there. I think it's just perspective. I don't think we can go over there. Can I read something here?
This is it. It worked. Where am I? I must be dreaming. Hurry now, hurry now. We're late for his banquet. What are you? Hurry, hurry. A dream? That left me feeling a little queasy. Rose and Marine? Rose and Marine, are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. Mm. No point in waking her this early, I suppose. Collected fireflies, three. I've collected fireflies? I ought to thrown you out long ago, lassie. So it looks different at night versus in the day? Not sure. Maybe it looks different in moonlight versus sunlight. Good morning, Elise. I would have got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Since when have you been up? Oh, I'm always up and about before daybreak. I can't sleep in if I try. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up easy. Please don't ever murder me. You're smarter than you look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is, is that so? Anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? Been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed, but... Now I have you to fret about, too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? What? You'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps? You truly are kind, aren't you? I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment then. How'd that get there? I saw you eat it last night. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment then.
Still can't bring myself to give this thing away, can I? An old spinning wheel rests in the corner, covered in a thick glare of dust and glistening cobwebs. Uh, for goodness sake. I've neglected it for so long, it'll be impossible to dig. <laughs> Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. What's this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me like a glove, too. These shoes... It's as though they were made for me. I did it! All of Kefferberg needs to hear about this. Elise, Elise, I'm busy, shoo shoo. You're so boring, Elise. No wonder you're always in such a bad mood, Elise. Puppy. Oh, I'll tell you who's in a bad mood, you little. Please, Elise, come play with us. She won't, she's a coward. Coward, coward. Oh, I'll show you the coward. Give me that. How did you do that, Elise? Oh, she's good. You did it from so far away, Elise. You're making too much of it, you brats. Your arms are longer, that's why. Cheater, you're a cheater. Why, you? I'm not a cheater, I'm just better. Alright, well, I really want to pass time, but I have to go date somebody. Look at what the... Working on a Sunday again, Elise. Yes, I am. Is everyone going to say that? Ought to keep yourself fed, I'd say. Say, Elise, we've been considering you building these homes. These piles of rubble, what for? Told you, fellas. Not a soul in Keffelberg will give it the time of day. I don't see how it would be worth the hassle, that's all. It's such a shame. They're sitting right up by the village square, too. But who would choose to settle in Kefferberg of all places? Come now, folks. If we don't rebuild our town now, who will? You're right, Gustav. This is our home, after all. There's no swaying you two, is there? The windmill that once was. This is it, surely. But I can't move this out of the way. Hmm. Oh. 
There's no way that this girl over here would not be able- Oh, it's so beautiful. Would not be able to help me move this. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. Elise. Ah, Elise. I'm so glad you made the time. <laughs> I was curious about the maypole, I suppose. Come now. I've been picking some flowers. Won't they wilt if you pick them now? <laughs> ah, I'm still playing with the colors. Papa's lending me a hand to dress the maypole, and Mrs. Marielle, and Mrs. Linda as well. Might as well invite all Kefferberg to dress it at this rate. Oh, right. Why don't you help too, Elise? It, me? You could spend the night on Friday and we could all do it together. Mm, I'm not too certain. Oh, it would be t so much fun to have you. I'm not so good with that kind of thing, Freya. Huh? Oh, it's wonderful. oh, I knew daisies would suit you best. <laughs> Freya? Freya? <laughs> what do you say, Elise? Do you want to stay the night? I suppose I could, but... It's alright if you don't want to, silly. That's not what I, uh... You don't fancy me much, do you, Elise? Nope, actually, you're my favorite. I've chosen this one as my girlfriend. Freya. Freya. All I want is to be good friends with you, despite everything. I do too, you know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. For goodness sake. That's not it, Freya. Huh? Oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't even say anything yet. Oh, but I truly didn't mean to, uh... You're always overcompensating. It makes you seem disingenuous. Elise. Elise. I'm glad we're friends, Freya. I truly am. Aww. Yet you keep trying to please me day in, day out. That's not what I meant to do, Elise. I wish you'd treat me more as a friend, Freya. Rather than someone you owe an apology to. Elise. I'll be using that ointment you made me all right. I never meant to overcompensate. Yet you shower me with gifts every day of the week. You don't do that to anyone else. What am I supposed to think? I know. That's because I care for you, Elise. Huh? <laughs> There's a reason why you're the only one, silly. Anyhow, it's getting late, isn't it? Is everything all right, Elise? You're red as a beat. <laughs> Why, it is getting quite late. Shush it, you. What are you laughing at? See you later, Elise. See you around town, Elise. For goodness sake. Heart piece acquired. There she is. Rosen Marine! There you are, Rosen Marine. Elise. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. Huh. I still ought to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Air out your thoughts, you say. 
I'm waiting for the waxing crescent, it's, uh, important I set my sight on what's to come, the sooner the better. What do you mean, Rose Marine? You see, Elise, I've dreamt about you before, about Kefferberg too. Last night, or... I know this may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kefferberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. Huh? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but, uh... I don't understand, Rosemarine. Ready for what? You'll know, in time. What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosemarine. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Hmm. Nostalgic, you say? Your name, your voice, your home, this breeze even. All that surrounds you, so much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible, Rosemary. It's you the stars told me about, Elise, I'm certain now. Ever in my life I heard such nonsense, and yet, I'm covered in goosebumps. This is the best girl. I've decided that this one's going to be my girlfriend. I can't tell. You don't believe one word of what I just said. Rosemarine, I, uh... I think I'll stay out here a little while longer, if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Uh, alright. Don't stay out here too long, you hear? I won't, I won't. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for the Little Goody Two Shoes demo. This game is currently scheduled to release on Halloween of this year. Be sure to add it to either your wish lists or pre-order it now, or play the demo for yourself because I'm sure there's plenty, plenty, plenty that I've missed already because I'm not sure, I would imagine most people that are watching this have already either played through Pocket Mirror, watched a playthrough, seen my playthrough of it, but um, there is a lot to talk about <laughs> in terms of overlapping lore already. I did not comment on the things I saw during my playthrough, just simply because it would kind of take you out of the moment, but I am already seeing some of the overlap between some of the more subtle themes in the last game, whether it be imagery or objects, and this one. Although a very interesting piece of lore that happened already, like within the demo of this game, that I had, I mean, I had no idea was even considered was that, okay, so Elise's grandmother begged and made a wish and paid a huge price to be able to have a child. And Elise is that child? The consequences of that are pretty crazy in terms of what that means for the overall story and what it means in this universe. I'm also very amused by the homage or honorings of the different names of some of the Rose and Maiden characters on in here. You might remember Shinku's fairy was named Holly, of course, Rosen. Rose and Marine, Rose and Maiden. I'm, I'm curious if there's going to be more or what the deal is with that. Rose and Maiden is one of my favorite animes and mangas of all time. So it's wonderful to see such talented creators so in love with that series as well. I'm not sure how far they're going to go with all of these different data points. Because if your town members can be suspicious of you and you could die of health and you could die of craziness or sanity or whatever. I, I have no idea how dense this game is going to actually be. I was not actually... Uh, expecting there to be a day slash night cycle, or I guess time period cycle, because that means that every point in time, depending on your choices, there could be different people and different cutscenes that you can miss or see. Um, there was a pretty easy one to miss, the one with the golden girl, I think her name was. Um, someone that had made a wish to the 
um, him. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the strange boy's name is canonically. I guess in Kefberg, Kefberg, his presence is known and he is just referred to as him. At least if I'm understanding that correctly. The price she paid, of course, at least from what we got from her three little interactions, is that she wanted to be reborn or wanted, was it to live longer? I'm trying to remember. And he granted it, but uh, not exactly the way that she wanted. And I think that that's what his delight is, is almost like sadistic levels of monkey's paw moment, where it's just like, yeah, you got what you wanted, but was it really? Which is something we already put together from Pocket Mirror. But the nature of Elise's witch wish is interesting. So she's staring out at a castle that already exists, and there was an invasion of her dreams by him, by the strange boy. At least, at le I think that's who it's going to be. Maybe there will be some other mysterious entities, but it certainly seems like it's the strange boy. And then after her nightmare, after her visiting of what she might have should she grant a wish, or have her wish granted, then the, the little goody two-shoes shoes appear. Again, I'm, I'm not wanting to say too much because I've actually written a pretty massive amount already and, and notes jotted down for Pocket Mirror because there was a, a huge amount of interest in the Pocket Mirror Theory video, but um, I figured if Little Goody Two-Shoes is just coming around just around the corner, maybe it would make more sense to get some of those answers filled in instead of just guessing, just use what was already there. So, what did you guys think of this demo so far? Let me know who you're going to date in the main game, and um, I guess that'll be it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.